first thing you're gonna do is remove your front wheels and tires for ease of access. We've already done this, so we're gonna jump right in and remove one bolt at a time from our lower A arms. We're gonna start with the front bolt here. We do one bolt at a time. That way, whenever we go to put everything together, our A-arm's not trying to fall off. And everything we do on this side, we have to go over and transition and do it on the, on the opposite side. So once we have our front two A-arm bolts removed, we're gonna grab our frame stiffener. And as we go to replace the bolts, we're just gonna put them through the frame stiffener. Line up our A-arm with the holes. And then we're just gonna let it hang. We'll let it hang on this side. And then we'll go over to the opposite side. So we'll just let it hang down just like that. Make sure you get your bolts sticking all the way through the opposite side. Before we install our brackets, you wanna make sure that you have the short bracket in the front. So this part right here is gonna be shorter. The bend will be shorter, so this one's gonna go in the front. And then this one is longer where this bend is, so this one's gonna go in the rear. So we'll just take it and we'll slide it on the threads of the bolt, and then we'll grab our nylock nut. And we're just gonna get it started. Nothing should be fully tightened at this point. And then we'll just repeat that step for the opposite side. So on our machine we're working on today, we have a Super ATV skid plate installed. You'll need to remove the two forward most screws. So once you have your two front screws removed, you're gonna grab your spacer that's provided in the kit. And you're just gonna slide it up underneath the front portion of the skid plate. And just align it with the hole. I like to just take a flathead screwdriver and kind of move it around to where it needs to be. And once it's all lined up, we'll just go ahead and reinstall your self-tapping screws that you just previously removed. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove our rear A-arm bolt. Go ahead and we'll discard. We'll discard the factory hardware. And then we'll take our bracket. So we'll stick our bolt through, just like this. And slide our bolt through our A arm. Just like that. And then we'll take this rear bracket and we're gonna orient it just like this. The two holes are facing towards the rear, and the one hole's going on the stud. It just like that, and then we'll grab our nut. Let's get it started on there, just like that, and then we'll repeat the steps for the opposite side. So, next, we're going to grab this hardware and we're going to install it through the frame stiffener up into each of our brackets that attach to the A arms. Just going to go through and get all of our nuts started. You're going to make sure that you don't fully tighten anything just yet, otherwise, you're going to have issues getting everything to line up. So what I like to do is just go through and get one on each bracket just to kind of help you hold it up in the place. Now all you have to do is go through, put a little Loctite on your A-arm bolts, fully tighten all your hardware evenly from side to side, and that's how super easy it is to install Super ATV's frame stiffener on this Honda Talon. For more information on this frame stiffener, or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.